Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and let's roll the D20 right away this time. Let's not even guess as to what we're gonna get. Which it looks like we get Oh wow. Alright, so we're gonna do the We're gonna do the jazz soundtrack a third time in a row. But then after that we are going to pick something else. Because I don't want to keep doing the same thing time and time again. You can imagine how that feels. Alright, so I'm thinking let's just go ahead and knock out the Earth element. Do the one that everyone knows Field Berserk for, or everyone who plays this game, I should say. Everyone knows knows the Field Berserk Earth Knuckle, because that basically covers up Earth Knuckle's big weakness. And yeah, I think we're going to do that today and just kind of... I mean, I've done this build before. This is not a new build. I do th I do this one. I've done this one a couple of times. So let's just go ahead and knock this one out. And I think... Because we're doing kind of a power-based build, I think Exploding Fireball is probably probably a good bet, and we'll change this to Frost Faint. So there we go. There's our build. So do I want to start with the Dagger of Midas? You know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and start with it second time in a row. We'll see how I feel about it. Plus potentially plus twenty, but I'm gonna be. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do this a little different. I am being indecisive at the moment, but I think Merchant's Cart is probably the best way to go. So, now those of you who are familiar with familiar with Fueled Berserk and Earth Knuckles know very well what you can what you can get done with this particular build. And it's generally the one that everyone knows Fueled Berserk for. I'm not 100% sure that I would say it's the best, but that's why we're doing this. We're going to find out. And, you know, just, let's just get Atlas out of the way right off the bat. I would rather not have him pop up at at spot three. Deal with him at spot one, and then see what comes up along the rest of the run. Also, I'd like to point out first uh, first try on <clears throat> pardon me, first try on retro floor plan, second time in a row. Alright. Oh, it looks like we get shoe in spot number three. Now, one of the obvious benefits of... One of the obvious benefits of the... of the Berserk Punch, good old, the good old Mike Tyson smack around, is that it does... that it does allow for a decent amount of movement while you're reserved. So each little... So between each punch, you can... You can get jolt forward and it's it's really nice. I'm not sure I want any of that. I mean, yeah, double tr double trouble is it lets you do a lot of damage, but I mean, the trade-off is typically not worth it. Uh, 
That doesn't mean that you can't get a lot out of it, but considering that I'm running a build that I'm not super comfortable with, not do that. I'm also running the retro floor plans, so it's real easy. Real easy to get messed up. Another thing that you're probably noticing is that you're, is that because of the base damage of the Earth Couple, you actually charge up your signature really fast, which is probably one of the reasons why this is one of the more popular choices for Fueled Berserk. I imagine some of you probably thought I was saving this for last, but you know, two, two things. One, there's... One, there's still... The game... I thought you were going to play this. There's still Chaos Arcana that we have yet. And two, this is one that I wanted to... That even though I don't dislike in any way, I wanted to... I wanted to get it out of the way before moving into some of the ones that I think will be really interesting. And it's not to say that this one isn't interesting. I just think there's... Or have more fun to be had with, pardon me, with other with, with other field reserve combos. And everything that Iris had for sale was kind of iffy. Don't get me wrong; there are things there that I like, like Shock Nova and and. City and Cascade. I like both of those. But looking at the enemies I'm going to be facing, Shock Nova will be about the most interesting thing, and it'll strike in a circle too. I don't know, I might actually get Shock Nova now that I've discussed it. But Obsidian Cascade is going to be resisted by two opponents and won't be doing any extra damage to anyone. So even though its damage potential is high, I think I would rather wait on that until I can. Locked by a painting? Come on, you're, you're telling me that that this big giant exploding fireball can't can't trample over a painting? Yes, I know that that's normally how it works, but it's still kind of embarrassing when you think about what's happening there. Oh, I thought I had the dagger. Whoops. Okay. Well, that's embarrassing. Slightly increases all damage dealt. Sounds like a good deal to me. And then, yes, I am going to grab Shock Nova. That, but you know what? It powers up the merchant's cart, so the hell with it. Alright, thinking about this, I think another thing I'm gonna pick up is the permafrost cube. Because if I can get you know a decent number of relic stacks going, then merchant's cart will be even more worthwhile. As for the Fueled Berserk Earthen Fist combo or Earth Knuckles combo itself, I think you'll see it you'll see it really start to shine a little bit more. If 
mentioned this before, but I really don't like those roly poly baskets. Alright, anything over here I really like. I really like Jade's Chakra Locket. That'll. That will definitely help me regenerate a little bit more, but first things first, let's make sure that let's make sure that Iris either does or doesn't have anything that we really want. Obviously, we want the Earth Knuckle upgrade. This is like when I just did the when I just did the review of the base Arcana. That was one of the things I was saying is that unless you have a decent reason to upgrade it, it's Better to just Oh my goodness. Everything in that room just went wrong. Terrible. Hey guys, you wanna come over here? Yeah, sometimes the best option is just to kite your enemies into an obvious trap. Because you know they're you know they're not gonna do anything to, to stop themselves from walking into it. Let's go ahead and grab this now. It'll Reduce the amount of damage we take and also let us heal whenever we pick up Chaos Gems. Definitely a good one. There's Iris. Alright, so we've got this now. I would say this buff is one of the reasons to pick up the upgraded Earth. Like, if you don't have this buff, it's... don't have that buff, it's not really worth it. But I already did the testing, and that's all... All of that information is on my... Uh, all that information is on my Wizard of Legend Basic Arcana tier list, so... I would say go check, go check that out. Yeah, all the information about about that particular arcana is right there. And you can see for yourself why I say that the upgraded earth knuckle really is the worst. I'm going to forego that for now. I think it'd be better to either have the Crimson Clover or the Handbag. And I think the Crimson Clover is going to be the better choice. Because that extra 15% of the time that we actually land a critical, it'll get a much bigger damage boost than we would get out of... that we get a we get a critical hit will be dealing more damage than just the like one or two extra damage at the end that the hit damage up from that would do so yeah I think that's worthwhile 
Also, act surprised, but I'm getting my butt kicked again. See the type of damage that this thing is capable of doing. This is hopefully going to be a good showcase of it where we'll be able to get some pretty decent damage even against a boss that res that resists the element that I'm using. Owie. That was my own fault. Hey, I'm the off. myself wanting to hold on to this long term, but it's something for right now. Oh yeah, especially against Steel and Shoe. No, we're going to want to get rid of that Whirling Potato probably pretty quick. Grab that because that'll equal more control. I might want Fractal Flare, but Fractal Flare isn't great power move. Surprisingly, it can be really difficult to have a to have a really good time to It can be really difficult to have a good time to use the field burn. Especially when the game decides to, to do garbage like that. We can go ahead and give her the token of health now. And more healing. That'll be especially useful with, DJ, with Jade's chakra locket. Might grab a little security, I'm not sure. Yeah, with the extra 50% healing from the With the extra 50% healing from the messy prescription, Jade's Chakra Locket should now be healing me for two instead of one with every Chaos Gem, which doesn't sound like much initially, but then you realize that's essentially double the healing factor. And I'd say that's definitely worthwhile. Grab that now.
Now, if I'm wrong about that and every Chaos Gem is still just doing one, then I'll feel a little silly, but I'm still going to say it was over. Grab those, at least for now. Definitely not taking that. Things to point out for those of you who are noticing that I'm having an amount of trouble with this run. One, remember this isn't this isn't exactly what I'm most comfortable using. And two, it I am using the retro floor plan for any of you who have forgotten. Got some, now that we've got some pretty decent healing, healing and defensive factors. But it also means less health to whittle down for my enemies, which could potentially be a bad thing. Oh, you bastard. Every time I pick up a Chaos Gem, I'm meaning to look to see if I am getting double healing back like I, like I think I am. But uh, I keep forgetting. And that time the number was covered up. It's like they're trying to keep me in the dark. Still covered up. Hell, why do you not want me to read the numbers? Are you trying to hide the truth from me, game? Oh, Dark Sage, you want answers? I want the truth. We all know what line comes next, so I'm not even going to say it. And I kind of think I want magnetic breakers just for just for keeping enemies at bay. That and I think magnetic breakers are one of those arcana that have a base damage of 10 or maybe just a little bit above. So a power build is the right place to use these. Now, I could also be completely be wrong about that. Okay. 
And if I am, I mean, oh well. I still want another ranged attack on my lineup. Yeah, no, looks like Magnetic, Magnetic Breakers is getting a nice little bonus, so take it. And yes, I am going to go ahead and take a bit of a risk. <laughs> and yes, I could have taken the Silver Spinning Top, but right now, I'm not sure that's the, wise, that's the best idea for it. They, they are healing for two apiece, so... Yes, this is... The right idea. done severing slash and didn't like it very much with field berserk. But who knows, it might be better with one of the other basic arcana buffs. said about picking up things that I could stack up, but I think I'm going to get rid of that and pick up the Equestor Cap. For two reasons. One, because I genuinely believe that that the, that the movement speed bonus is very is very good, very important, especially on a on a run on a build where you want to you need to be getting in close to your enemies, and, you know, within within a quick burst in order to capitalize on what you have. Secondly, and arguably more importantly, we get to be the horse-headed puncher again. You know, you know how excited the horse the horse-headed puncher. God, I hate those things so much. Nitroglycerin barrels be gone! We don't need your explode on impact properties in this part of town. Find the miners even if they'll blow up anything.
Hey, get back here. Why won't you die? should help out quite a bit. I certainly don't need a ton of money right now. I was kind of hoping that I would get that I would get like the dagger of Titus throughout the run, but of course never that lucky. I feel about having the fairies on my side. Honestly, I don't really care about that. Not when I not when I have good old thunder fairy. in this game is aggro multiple groups of enemies at once. Which, granted, I did not do that as a plan. That happened almost entirely by accident. Oh, that was completely awful. 
these last few rooms have been a real mess. Alright, and now... <laughs> grab that. I mean, it did its job well. It's got me a little bit of damage, gave me an idea when enemies were going down. Now I think I just want something a little bit more easy. Good. Especially for running both Glass Cannon and the Retro Floor Plan. Which, yeah, admittedly, it's not it wouldn't have been as much of a hindrance as that as if I had taken the double trouble. Slash, another really good target for Fueled Berserk. You know, those guys were another reason why I decided to drop the permafrost cube, because freezing them actually just resets their attack pattern. And I don't need to tell you why that's in that why that's in that Fairies? Yes, please. Honestly, I'm pretty okay with what I have otherwise. Claws of Tomor are nice, but I don't really have room for it anymore. Unless I drop that. Yeah, it's probably worth it. That extra critical hit chance on the basic is going to be big when fueled berserking. Okay, that did not work out as well as I would have liked. With a bunch of damage, sorry, even like as I factor out all the extra damage ups, this is still one of the higher, still one of the kind of higher DPS fueled berserks out there. Like I genuinely believe that Bolt Rail and Wind Slash beat it, 
But this one does have the other things going for it, like the jolts of movement that you get between punches. Like, it's just a... Like, it's not... Like, by itself, it's not great when it comes to the hitbox, but when you factor in how many of them you're throwing out, it gives you an amount of coverage that is really nice. Like, I was all prepared to come in here and just be a hipster and go, well, actually, Fueled Berserk and Earth Knuckles isn't that good, but... Yeah, it kind of is that good. Sometimes you just have to... You just have to bop your own pride on the head and say, no, no, I really think that maybe this is as good as people say it is. There you go. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the video. Now that we've gotten one of the we've gotten probably the arguably biggest one out of the way, but I have a few more left that I think will be at, le at the very least interesting before we get into the Chaos Arcana. And some of those I'm interested really interested to see how work with the Fueled Berserk upgrade. That should be a lot of fun, so thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support. Do the usual YouTube stuff, help a brother get noticed, and by the way, I did notice that I had a few new subscribers, so if you guys are out there watching, hey everybody, how you doing? Hope you're enjoying the channel, and I hope I can continue to entertain you. So, again, thank you for spending your free time with me. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.